Hi friends, this is Dina and welcome to my new video. I was super excited to film this video and I also can't wait to hear what you think of my new theme. I started bullet journaling in August 2019, so this August is my two-year anniversary. It's already almost a tradition that my August theme is houseplants, so I thought why not keep this tradition up and paint some plants as my next theme. Before we start setting up my new theme, let's quickly flip through my July pages. I will have my July plan with me linked in the cards and in the description if you want to watch it and haven't already. I like setting up this theme, but to be honest, it didn't really motivate me to use my bullet journal as much as my August theme already does. We are soon going to start with my August cover page, but I already want to apologize for the bad and flickering lighting I had in my cover page clips. I think it's watchable, but since I always have to sped up my videos so much, it looks a bit worse. It definitely gets a bit better later and I just hope you won't be too annoyed by it. Like I said, my theme is houseplants and I use watercolor in this one. Honestly, it felt so good to use watercolors in a theme after the long break. I painted this big fiddle leaf fig tree for my cover page. For this theme in general, I used many warm earthy tones such as reds, oranges and yellows and added some wrinkly craft paper to have some texture in my spreads. I also chose these black block letters as my font for August. I really just enjoy the fact that I did something different and experimented way more with this theme. I think I've used the same lettering style for like 5 months now, so it was definitely more than necessary to do something different. Before I started painting, I made a detailed sketch so I knew where the veins in the leaves would be. First I went with a light green color for the leaves and then mixed in some more black and brown to create the darker green color and made sure I don't paint over the veins so they are lighter in color. I painted this pretty brownish pot for the plant and I also created some brick pattern behind my plant but unfortunately my phone's battery ran out and I wasn't able to get any footage of the painting process. I will paint the bricks in every spread after this though, so don't worry, you will see how I made them later. I just used three shades and didn't add any details or shadows to them. I drew my headers with just two markers. I used my new favorite pen, Pigma P and Fineliner for the outlines and I colored them in with a Pigma MB brush pen. Before we go to the next spread, I thought it would be fun to look at all of my three August cover pages side by side and I think we can all agree that I've come a long way. Anyway, let's set up my calendar spread. I used a very simple layout for my calendar and wrote August in the upper left corner. I like to always make my calendars with only the horizontal lines and numbers, but maybe I should try it with boxes someday. I painted the dots behind the daily numbers in this pretty orangey color and I think it works perfectly with this spread. This probably became one of my favorite spreads this month because it's so nicely balanced with everything. I actually really hesitated whether I should do this houseplant theme this month or not and well this is going to be a little story time. Last weekend I was just looking at one of my favorite houseplants that suddenly seemed to be in bad shape. For my disappointment and surprise, I noticed it was filled with thrips. If you don't know what they are, they're these super annoying little insects that kill your plants and spread super fast to any other plants that are nearby. That wasn't the only plant I found that was infested with thrips, so I had to poison them and I got so tired of the whole situation that the idea of painting houseplants for my next theme didn't feel that good due to my trauma, but I'm better now, so it's fine.
I obviously just had to add some craft paper in the corner and in my opinion it tied this spread together even more. I'm glad that this time I actually have a theme that includes craft paper so I can just go totally crazy with it. Now let's get on to my next spread which is my tracker spread. This month I definitely wanted to experiment with my layouts after feeling really unmotivated to fill in my journal. I think the themes I've done recently are nice and my style but they just haven't had any new exciting pages and I haven't been able to get out of my comfort zone with them at all. So the freedom and happiness I felt making this theme really reminded me how much I love bullet journaling and trying out different things with it. I also took a more relaxed approach and even drew lines without a ruler. Like whoa, what have I become? No, but I can't even tell you how much I like this theme. I think it's mostly because of the things I felt making it and not necessarily just the fact that it looks really pretty. I really hope you like this theme too, even though it's a bit different from what I've done recently. This tracker spread has four habit trackers, a column, mood and sleep tracker and a little space for my spendings. If you watch my July plan with me, I was talking about not filling my spendings page in a long time so I decided to leave it out and just have a small section so it wouldn't feel so overwhelming and I wouldn't waste all that space in my notebook. I just painted some eucalyptus branches in this empty space in the right side. First I was really intimidated by this painting because I thought it would be really hard to paint since the leaves are just so small, but actually it was super easy. I just painted the leaves that were closer to me lighter green and the ones in the back darker and that's pretty much it. I also just added a tiny dot of dark green to the bottom of the leaf. I chose again some brown and orange shades for the vases and that was it for my painting. Now for one of my most used spreads in my setup. This is going to be my content planner where I will track and plan all my social media posts and videos. I really like this spread and this works for me so much better than my Instagram tracker I used before. I painted many plants in this page and I think this spread took the longest to make because of that but luckily it was super therapeutic to make. followed me on Instagram yet, I will have it linked down below in the description, but I have the same account name there as I have here on YouTube. I post there at least three times a week and if you like the content here on my YouTube channel, you will like my Instagram posts as well. I didn't use many supplies when creating this theme, so I believe you could make something like this too if you just have some watercolors and a couple of brushes. I actually just used two brushes for the whole theme. One small and rounded brush and the other one is a liner detail brush from Arteza. Most of my brushes are just some cheap ones I don't know the brand of, but I also own the detail brush set from Arteza and I can highly recommend that to all of you who like painting. They are some of the smallest ones I've ever tried and they work so well when you have to paint any small details. I also use some Pigma Microns and the Pigma PN and MB pens I mentioned before. My notebook, as you may know, is from Mellow Days and it's called Reverie. It's a 160 GSM notebook meant for watercolors and as you can see here, nothing bleeds through and I didn't even get any wrinkling from my paintings throughout this setup. If you'd like to get this notebook or any other supplies from Mellow Days, you can use the link in my description or use my code DINA10 to get 10% off while I also get a small commission from the brand. I would recommend this notebook to anyone who loves to paint in their notebook.
like to include a small calendar for planning my posts and many boxes to write any notes or to-dos. I really like how full this spread looks and all the textures and colors just go so well together. Let's flip to my next spread. In this spread I will include all my favorite songs I've listened to recently and I will also have a big writing space for all of my lists and everything I feel like writing down. I painted this huge branch here in the middle and I think this is my favorite painting I made this month. I just chose a light green shade and went over all the leaves. Then I used a darker shade as a shadow to color in the half of the leaf that was farthest away from me. I also darkened the root of the leaf and I think it immediately helped to make the whole painting look a bit more realistic. It was way easier to work with this painting since it was so much bigger than all of those tiny little leaves I colored in in my other spreads. I made little borders for my album covers and then just printed these small pictures out and glued them in. I think this is a very nice touch and makes the spread look so much prettier. This month I listened to a lot of Finnish music and true crime YouTube videos and podcasts. set up my last spread I'm going to make in this video and it's my first weekly spread. I'm going to upload my weekly spreads video later in a week or so so make sure to press the bell icon to be notified once my next videos are up. I use this box layout with a little painting on the upper left corner of the spread. I decided to paint an ivy plant here, but I kinda now hope I would've gone for a different plant because I don't think it necessarily looks that good and I have a personal vendetta against them because I've managed to kill so many of them in my life. Okay, maybe two, but that's enough. I painted the edges of the leaves first and then just took a wet brush and blended the leaves in a way that the colors were smooth but the middle of the leaf was a lot lighter in shade. It took a long time to go through the leaves like this two at a time. Once I had painted all of the leaves, I just took some white gouache and painted some small veins for the leaves.
I added this little note section here in this empty space because it just looked like it needed something. getting to the end of this video. I'm just quickly going to flip through all the pages I made for my August setup. Remember to subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you like this video and maybe leave a plant emoji down below if you are still here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye bye!